Hello, my name is Alan Martin, the Clinical Director for Vigon. I would like to show you today a new umbilical tray and this is essential for placing umbilical catheters in the NICU. Let me show you the Vigon umbilical placement kit. We have suture holder, we have straight artery forceps, two curved artery forceps, one pair of scissors, and then a selection of forceps curved to your particular liking or straight and we have toothed forcep for grasping the umbilical stump. A very important point here we have the vessel dilator, we have two absorbent towels, umbilical cord tie, a 3-0 silk suture, three safety devices here one safety scalpel so after use can be retracted into the safety position, two hypodermic needles which are also safety. We then have a selection of syringes or lure lock. We have two galley pots, one red one, one clear one. The red one is designed to take the cleaning solution so there is no risk of mixing up solutions when cleaning and injecting. We have a tape measure we have a selection of swabs, but very importantly, we have two surgical drapes plus our unique splitting drape, which I'll show you in a moment when we use knee to newborn. And we have a receptacle here to take all the waste items. I've now cleaned the umbilical area. I've placed a drape on the upper torso and a drape on the lower torso as you can see here. There is an umbilical cord tie in place to stop hemorrhaging and now I'm going to place a unique transparent drape which is also peelable and we'll put this in position now and as you can see we have excellent barrier precautions for the baby and now we can start to proceed to place the umbilical catheter into the baby's umbilical vein. After identifying the umbilical vein, I can grasp the umbilical stump with my two forceps and use the vessel dilator to dilate up the umbilical vein, making it uh, acceptable for the chosen umbilical catheter. Once that is in position, I've already pre-measured my baby and before I place my catheter, what is advisable is to use the forceps to grasp the stump. This stabilizes the stump into position. And now I can place my umbilical catheter into position. Again, you have the choice of forceps You've got here, I'm using straight forceps, but you've got also curved forceps if you require. And then place the catheter into the desired position. As I say, we've already pre-measured and we've used your local calculations for that. And once my catheter is in position, I will then connect up my saline. There are many ways to secure the catheter in position. This is one particular method. This is the flag technique. A piece of self-adhesive strapping is put round the catheter. A suture then is placed through. like so. And now the suture is placed through the umbilical stump.
Once it's sutured in place, just trim the suture. And now we're ready to remove the transparent drape. As I say, this is unique, this drape, and you grasp it from either end and just peel away and this avoids having to cut the drape and you can move the drape away very very nicely from the baby then remove the drapes from up and down and there we are that's the new umbilical placement tray from Vigon and again thank you very much Nita for being a good baby